reasons why uh, semi permanent makeup and microblading, we see a lot of bad brows in the press, and a lot of people complaining about the brows is because the inadequate training that some of the uh, artists are actually going to now. We're actually seeing like two and three days training, which is not sufficient, and people think that they can come out and they're qualified. But what's actually happening? They're coming out. They may they may have a certificate, but they've got no confidence. If an artist uh, decides that they want to correct somebody's work, we've just got to analyse two things. Number one, do they want to correct somebody's work for somebody who's just had the treatment done? Or is it somebody who's had the treatment done like 12 months or several years ago? If the client has just had a treatment done, then I would always say refer them back to the person who's already done that work. Don't get yourself tangled up in uh, she says, they say. Let the artist do their second procedure. Because even myself, I may do some of his eyebrows, but then I can tweak them when they come back. So give that artist an opportunity to change that shape, make them a little bit darker, and opportunity to be able to do what that client wants. On the other hand, if a client comes back, say 12, comes to you after 12 months or after several years of actually having the treatment done, you have to analyze, is the shape a shape that you can go over? Is it what suits that client's face? Is the color a color that you can correct? Because if somebody's got really dark gray tone eyebrows, then I would say straight away, let's send them for laser. Let's start with a, a blank canvas. When you're doing a correction, the colour theory and knowing your pigments is absolutely paramount. So it's easy to change a shape, but when somebody's, when we're doing a correction, we've now got a base colour that we're working on. So we're not just working on the skin, we're working on a colour, what's there, what's been tattooed the first time. So we have to correct that colour. So advanced colour theory and knowledge on colour theory is what everybody should be doing. I would say a common no-no that artists shouldn't do when correcting brows is just have a look at the shape what's on there to start with. If that shape is like far too high, far too wide, not a good shape that you can correct over, then don't do it. Send them to be lasered. You will be the last person on their face. So remember it's your reputation. They'll be telling people that you've done their brows that could fade out and not be a great shape or a great colour.